Hi Aquarius, it's Al here to do your September, well your mid-September 2018 general reading. It's a general read. Everything will not resonate with you or who you're dealing with. Uh, messages are vice versa. You know, come on. You know how it goes. You know, don't get butt hurt over something. You know, if it doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't resonate. If it does, you're going to show that it does by, you know, writing something stupid in the comments. What's that saying? A hit dog will holler. Mm. Just be quiet and no one will know, right? Mm. Let's get started, Aquarius. Okay, so Aquarius has had a really interesting year. Some of us has, have been in some really good energy. Some of us have been enduring a lot of change. Um, the lock and the key. I don't know what that means for somebody, but sometimes you have to shut a piece of you off to whomever or to whatever. You can't give your complete self to someone or something, all right? So let's get started. Let's see, what are the cards? What do you want to tell Aquarius, Lord God? Thank you for the messages for Aquarius. General, general spread for Aquarius, general. All right. Virgo season, getting organized, getting, you know, in control of things, the overall energy for the different spreads. I did four different spreads, two cards, six of cups, nostalgic thoughts of the past, thoughts of the children, thoughts of a soulmate, thoughts of when times were good. Memories are, are really helping, or what's really helping a lot of people get through and get by. Because it's, it's been tough. Someone's thinking of you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe from your past or, or you're doing this. Let's see. All right. First spread. Page of air, three of air. All right. Somebody let somebody go. But at the same time, they still, it, it might have been abrupt. It might have been just like kind of like overnight. Cut something or someone off. Had divorce separation due to infidelity. Uh, due to someone not being able to make a decision and someone made it for them. Or in the meanwhile, someone could have could be in separation, in divorce, and somebody spying on the other. It could be two air signs. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, it could be any sign. Uh, maybe the past thoughts are keeping a person, um, keeping them spying on you. Let's see. Seven of Earth. The magician. Somebody is trying very hard to come back from the past, is looking at the past, has nostalgic thoughts about the past, the memories, the emotions, and now they're looking at what they invested, and they're really trying to um, start anew, to bring you back, to bring you in on the fold, whatever that may be. Um, they may have it could have been a younger air sign they cut you off you cut them off you switched the roles I don't know um, now they're looking back at, at, at how great I was going to say good how great you were to them this is also an Aquarius maybe out here um, looking at their investments trying to to formulate a plan of action going forward Trying to bring down heaven, trying to bring down what is for them. Being the magician, manifesting, putting out the affirmations, doing the work. The four of air, seven of air. Yes. Oh, my gosh, you are in complete separation with someone trying to heal, trying to affirm, affirm to the universe who and what you really want. And meanwhile, there's somebody else trying to devise plans of action 
to sneak back into your life, what do they want? There's no offer on the table. There's, I mean, they just want to be next to you, Aquarius. <laughs> this is funny. Thought with, I thought with four different spreads, we would get four different energies. Some of you hope, wish, pray for, and are trying to devise plans of action for healing. This is healing of the heart, of course, emotions, physical healing, mental and emotional healing. Um, some of you are trying to do that, doing that in secret, really putting on a face and a front, maybe to the, to you know, those around you because you're, you you have to, you know, you have to go to work or you have to take care of the children, so you, you can't just fall apart. But some of you are wanting or have fallen apart and just really trying to heal. And somebody, and they're not even making it better by just allowing you to be there. Keep, they're showing up in your mental space and your emotions. It's like, leave me the F alone, you know? Some of you got devastating news, too, that caused the Three of Swords, whatever that may be. Three of water and the nine of fire. Oh my gosh. Reconciliation, nine of fire. Like I said, there's no offer on the table. They just want to come back. This could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, what, uh, air, Gemini, Libra, I mean, it could be anybody. You got earth here too, a little bit. Lots of air. So you're dealing with air and you're in separation. Either you want to go back or they want to go back or come back or whatever. Three of water, nine of fire. They're looking at this situation. They're wanting reconciliation, but at the same time, very unsure of what it can turn into or what it will turn into. It was fiery, it was explosive. It was a fiery and explosive for the good and the bad. So, But they're wondering, you know, should they go back? Now, this could be in love, this could be in career you're wondering if you should go back to a company go back to doing whatever it is you were doing um it was taxing it was burdensome there was drama but at the same time you're, you're thinking about reconciliation with that whatever that may be so for those out there who don't want anybody to come back from the past or don't have anyone coming back then it could be career it could be finance it could be anything it could be family you know should you should you reconcile with your family um it's drama there but you miss them they miss you but it's drama someone's got you all in their thoughts someone's talking about you thinking about you whether it's it's good talk or bad talk what is the page of air and the three of air? Page of air and the three of air. Okay. Four, four, four of pentacles. Someone abruptly cutting something off, shutting someone out, but yet still holding on and, and, and has something to say. It, do they have anything to offer? You can say whatever you want to say. Hell, you can say that in a text message, an email, whatever. You don't have to come back to tell me some BS that I already know. Like, come on. What do you want? Let go. All right, this flipped out for the four of air and the seven of air. Yeah, some of you... Um, Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles can be anything. It could be new starts and, of course, a new job, large purchase, um, home purchase, car, uh, solidifying a relationship, moving in together, going to the next level uh, in business, um, starting a new business. It could be anything. So I'm going to pull one more for the Ace of Pentacles. And it looks like someone has been praying and meditation about has allow some rest and relaxation to happen in their mental uh, going back into planning for this uh, re revising 
plans of action, maybe surrounding a business or um, or surrounding, solidifying something that's tangible and could be long lasting. What's, what is that? The high priestess. This looks like for some of you, this could be, um, it's, it's highly tangible with the queen of pentacles here and the, the high priestess, four of air and seven of air. Th this looks like long-term plans of stability of how to maintain and cultivate that. We've got the pomegranates here with the high priestess. Some of you are getting spiritual downloads on how to, to manifest this even greatly in your lives, um, especially with the four of air and the high priestess. Um, this new tangible start uh, is going to put you in a place of stability, luxury. Um, it'll be foundational for you. Plans need revision because there is something here. And you may get that something by way of prayer, meditation with the four of air, and then you'll have that inner knowing that this is for you, it will happen. You have to have that other piece of the pie, which is spiritual, the spiritual backing, whatever that may be. It could be healing, it could be, oh gosh, it could be so many different things. All right, the three of water and the nine of fire, where are we, 11 minutes, damn it. Three of water and nine of fire. Should you go back? Five of sword. There's lots of inner conflict. There's lots of, it's interference. It could very well be third party. Someone is contemplating even going backwards or having reconciliation. Or if not going backwards and having reconciliation, then they're contemplating a fight or they're expecting a fight or to do verbal battle within this reconciliation. The air was not cleared. Hmm. The seven of earth and the magician. Seven of earth and the magician. Okay. Six of swords. What I immediately heard was someone trying to sail right back into your life. Just three of cups again. They just want reconciliation. They want to know that you forever accept them in your life. Page of cups, yeah. They come with the smallest offer, but probably haven't known you for seven or more years, seven or more months, just long term. And and yet, and still, they come with, with pennies of an offer. Seven of pentacles, again, only because they know what, what you're capable of. They know what the investment was, the time spent. They look at this and say, man, it didn't really turn into anything or we fell out or they moved on or this is all they are. It's sad, guys. It's missing you. It's missing having access to you. We'll come with either an apology or a gift, wanting reconciliation. Two of Cups. It's a, I mean, love is in the midst of, of you too, but the death card. There, it needs to be an ending, so that there can be a new beginning. This situation right here needs a personal reading. This is crazy. Um, 
Okay, let's get some angel answers in here on each scenario. Remain positive here with this person who either cut you off or vice versa. You're still hanging on and holding on. They still have something to say to you. Uh, remain positive. You know, it could turn out well for you there. Um, for some of you who are waiting for answers in regards to career and finance and making large purchases, maybe even solidifying a relationship by way of marriage and or proposing to someone, I guess my male Aquarius. Um, let's see what's going on here. Listen to your intuition and we have a high priestess here. Listen to your intuition. All right. Those who some have people coming back from the past or you wanting to go back and reconcile with someone from the past, but the air has not been cleared. There, you're in for a battle here. You may even be interfering in an established relationship or someone doing this to you. Let's see. What is the advice? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is not funny, but it's funny. No. Um, yeah. No. 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 And no. And it was so clear. I only needed to pull one card on this. No. We've got all signs here. So if you know that it ended badly, whatever, you know, the relationship was, whether it's family, friend, romantic partner, no, not right now. No, you know, it's not a never. It's just a no. All right. What's going on here? Get more information. If this is not telling, because this person wants you back they have the Three of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles twice. Thinking, hoping, wishing, Six of Cups governs the entire read. Um, but there's no offer here in any of these cards. And, it, and this was the one spread I pulled the most cards on. There's no offer. So if you, you know that there's love that rests between you and someone else, maybe even a Scorpio... Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I mean, any damn body. Um, get more information. It, you know what? And it, it could be, just be very simple. You, If you're in conversation with them, sir, what do you want? Ma'am, what is it that you, you want? That'll, that'll sober up some people right away. If when you hit them with the sir or the ma'am, Sir, what do you want? Then they know, okay, this isn't the same person I've been dealing with for years and stringing along for years, you know? All right, let's go. Let's see what we should be focused on. For Okay, that's way too many for the duration of uh, September, right? I mean, the, the months are going by so fast, I just can't even keep up. I, I think I told somebody it was October the other day. Volunteer. Get out, do your benevolent work, your alms, your charity work. It, it means good. It's good for the soul. It's good for the karmic energy. Um, it's good for paying off some of that negative energy that maybe you've ex you've expended. <laughs> you know, um, it's just good. It's just good. Volunteer information too. Don't leave people in the dark, especially if it's valuable to a situation. Be true to you. I know that's right. Do what you want to do and, and find out what that is. A lot of times you ask me, well, what do you want? I don't know. Okay, great. Um, we'll figure that out and then we'll, re we'll regroup, okay? Religion and spirituality, yeah. Like, especially for this set here, you're trying to really cultivate and pull together something very tangible here. Um, a home, an engagement, a life for yourself and for family or for, for you and with someone else. There needs to be a religious and spiritual um, backing to that. You know, whatever that may mean to you. Get some rest. Just flew out, okay? Uh, new exercise program. Pretty self-explanatory. Get some rest. Four of air here. Get some rest. Your mind is going and going. 
a million times over, okay? Get some rest. This was a, for the most part, Aquarius, this is a really good read. I really feel as if there's an energy, energy trying to pull you back to a place. It looks like you're in really good spirits about where you want to go. Be firm, be, be um, assertive in what you want uh, and affirm it to the universe and, and let it come in and rest your mind. Relax. Okay. So I'm going to do something different. Um, there are a lot of people that say, I don't have anybody. I have anybody coming back from the past. Um, you don't have anybody like that. Um, is someone, and they always have a question, is someone coming in for me? So I'm going to do a yes or no spirit for those that set of Aquarians, all right? Okay. Is there love coming in for my single Aquarians? Single Aquarians. Is there love coming? Okay. All right. That Four of Swords just. Come on, guys. Go to sleep at night. Quiet the brain. All right, King of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Pentacles in reverse, uh, King of Cups up right at the bottom of the deck. So, looks like love is stalled for now because a lot of you are contemplating, um, or not even contemplating, are really um, focused on financial stability, uh, focused on you know, the tangible, your your money or business or establishing a business, establishing yourself financially. So love has taken a back burner. Um, yeah, Four of Swords, you've kind of taken a rest from that. It's not your main focus. And when you're not putting effort and energy into meeting someone, being open to relationship, the giving and the receiving of love, then, of course, no one's coming in. If you aren't putting yourself in the place where someone could come in, going out, going to places where single people are, then no, love is not coming in. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Um, some of the advice here, some of you need to let go of somebody. You want something or someone to come in, but maybe you haven't let go of a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, another Air, Sun, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be anybody. Let go release and rest and heal from maybe whatever happened here all right so that is that um aquarius know that i'm praying for you pray for me as well the website will be back up and running uh friday august august lord uh friday september 7th okay um but in the meantime, you can always send an email and we can set up appointments that way. Um, yeah, I'm praying for you guys. Pray for me as well. It looks good. It doesn't look bad. It's not like a bad reading. It's just more so be on guard. Be cautious of people coming back from the past. You have to know what they want. You know, don't just allow them back because they're back. Oh, they came back, so they must really want me. No, sometimes they just want to know they have access to you. And then they'll leave again. All right, take care, guys. Bye.